Hi guys and ladies, I found a recipe for Alaskan salmon online. Well, I can't see why it wouldn't work for little Ohio pond fish. I have fish in the freezer, but nothing beats fresh fish. Well, the fishing conditions today are terrible with temperatures in the 90s, but I'm determined to at least try for fresh fish this evening. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Oh, no. Let's start off with a little tiny ultra light lure. Here I have a 132nd ounce jig and on it, a little plastic rub. Fish don't bite well in heat wave conditions, but maybe a little thing like this will look like such easy prey, they'll just grab it. Who knows? I reserve the right to change lures. Look in the description box below for all the details on the fishing equipment. Let's go fishing. <laughs> hey, that's a... That's a nice bluegill to start off with. I got one. <laughs> I got another good one. I didn't think I could. I thought it was too warm today. Wow, I haven't seen a crappie in a long time. Woo, <laughs> big, oh wow. Well, that's food. It's not my favorite, but I, I have to take it out of the lake. 13 and a half inches. Mmm, I still love Diet Pepsi. Got one. Oh, disappointing, a little bass, but I have to remove them from the lake. You know the rules. Look in the notes below and you'll read them. Ah. Another embarrassingly little fish. Ah, and they always fall off. Little something. <sighs> I'll eat them because they're tasty and they have to come out of the lake. But how small. There's something on there. <laughs> it's crazy. Just crazy, these little guys. Another baby bass. <laughs> Looky here, I've got more than enough fish for our salmon recipe. Salmon? Well, let's get in the house and I'll fillet them. Here I have almost a pound and a half of fish fillets from our outing last evening, and that's not including that big crappie which I froze for another day. So let's get started with our salmon recipe, of course, without salmon. First up, a marinade. So the first thing I'm doing is chopping some green onion. Here I've got three tablespoons of fake brown sugar. It's low carb. Okay, first in the bowl is one half cup of peanut oil. Next in, one quarter cup 
of light soy sauce. I'm putting in four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I don't know how much this is, but here goes our green onions. It's a quarter cup or more. Here go our three tablespoons of fake brown sugar. Now two cloves of minced garlic. Now one and a half teaspoons of crushed red pepper. Here's one heaping teaspoon of sesame oil. So as you see, I've laid out all our fish and I tried not to overlap too much and I'm just going to pour our sauce marinade right over the top. I want to spread it to all parts. Now what I'm doing is covering it. I'm going to let it marinate for like four hours. Somehow I missed ground ginger in the ingredient list. This needs to go into the marinade, so I'm just going to add some now. Of course, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Okay, we've got our fish marinating. How about we do up a quickie side dish? Here I have a pound of trimmed up Brussels sprouts. Let's drizzle some olive oil on them. Let's add some salt. I don't know how much, maybe a half teaspoon. So as you see, I'm cutting up about six or seven strips of bacon into one inch pieces. I don't know, I'm really winging it. I'm gonna pour the bacon over the Brussels sprouts and then try to mix it all up. Uh-oh, one got away. Let's just dump it into this handy foil cake pan. And I'm gonna cook this on the grill just like it is. Okay, I'm gonna put these Brussels sprouts on the grill. And keep it closed. Probably will take 20 or 25 minutes, let's see. Every five minutes or so, you ought to open it up and just stir it. It's coming along fine. Uh-oh, it's been 25 minutes. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. I'll just keep this warm a little while in the oven and then we'll get on to our fish. Remember this grill grate from last episode? We're going to use it again. I'm going to put the marinade now in a pan and I'm going to thicken up the juices so that we can apply more to the fish. I missed the fish. Big one too. It's been about five or six minutes. Let's get the fish off. I didn't have to turn it. Should be all right. It's looking good. I'll show you. How's that so far? Into the oven just for a little bit until our guest comes. I didn't tell you. I have a special guest tonight. While our meal is keeping warm in the oven, I should tell you all that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over here for dinner tonight. It, it still puzzles me why after seeing each other for 50 years she's never suggested marriage to me. Doesn't marriage make a woman feel, I don't know, more complete? Uh, it seemed like it did in the old days. It was more important than, I, I don't know. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me tonight at my ramshackled residence. And I do appreciate it. And you had a chance to dine on my uh, marinated uh, salmon recipe with Lake Catch a Big One Fish, and what did you think of that? It was excellent, and so were the Brussels sprouts with bacon. They were both very, well, very good. I was good. about to ask about yes, those. Oh, yes, yes. I'm glad you liked them. Everything was extremely tasty. Thank it you. definitely hit the spot. I was very hungry. Thank you. Uh, Miss Cheeks? Yes. Oh, I, I can say Lulu now? Yes. Oh, thank you. Um, don't you feel that a woman without a husband is, well, somehow incomplete? Yes, but with the husband, she's finished. Oh. Um, can I have a hug?